Hello, and welcome to the first ever live performance by Mr. C. What are we going to be talking about today? <laughs> Understanding place value. Okay, I can already hear what you're going to ask. Mr. C, why is understanding place value even important? Well, there's a few good reasons. It's going to give you a picture of what numbers actually are in your mind, okay? It's also going to make working with numbers a lot easier, and it's going to help you to understand carrying and borrowing, which are going to be in multiple digit addition and subtraction, which is kind of like your next step in math if you're learning about place value right now. So, Understanding what place value even is, right, before we start playing with it or doing like problems with it, having a good picture of what these these different places and numbers even mean is really important, okay? So let's go ahead, we're gonna dive right in and let's take a look. I've got a few tools with me here today. Um, they're called base 10 blocks. And we're gonna take a look at each one individually and then I'm gonna talk about which place value they apply to. So the first one we're gonna look at is these teeny little ones, okay? Maybe you've seen these in your math center, in your classroom. Um, if you Google base 10 blocks, these teeny little ones count as the ones place and we call them a one block. Now, if you have 10 of these put together, they transform, okay? They move to another place value. And let me show you what that place value is, okay? So once you get 10 of them put together, right? We have what's called a 10 block, all right? And if you look, I'm gonna show you visually, okay? You can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 one blocks into each one 10 block, okay? So these ones, these small one blocks count as the ones place, and these 10 blocks count as the tens place. Get it? There's 10 of them in each one, okay? So let's take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. Once you get 10 of them together, they transform into something else. Let's see what they transform into. All right, if you have 10, 10 blocks, you have a hundred block. What? I know, look at this thing. All right, it's big, it's flat. You, uh, you might, if you have a math teacher that's not me, they might call this a flat. All right, I want you to, I want you to look. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10, 10 blocks in a hundred block. And look, if you were to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 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 thirteen. there's a hundred of these little one blocks in this hundred block. Okay, does it make sense? So we have our ones place, our tens place, and our hundreds place. Okay, and you can put these together to form numbers, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But I want to look at one more block, all right? And this is like the granddaddy of all base ten blocks. Look at this thing. <laughs> Okay, this thing is gigantic. This is called a thousand block, all right? It's huge, it's cubic. And if you look, right, remember our hundred block? There, you could fit 10 of these hundred blocks, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If you stacked 10 of them up, they would make one of these thousand blocks, okay? So what these manipulatives are trying to show you is that once you fit 10 of the smaller size in, it transforms and becomes a larger place value, okay? So there is actually a thousand of these little blocks, these little one blocks, in each one of these thousand blocks, okay? So we've got our thousands place here, our hundreds place here, our tens place here, and our ones place here. Okay, so if you think about it, I just want to give you a thought like in your head. If you had nine of these, right, nine ten blocks, you have 90 little single blocks, or you had one of these, what would you rather have? Well, obviously one of these, right? You'd rather have a thousand block than you would have nine ten blocks, okay? So that's what we're trying to see and think of when we are thinking of place value, right? Just because the number might be smaller, right? This is just a, a 1,000 block. It's still gonna be way bigger 
than if you had nine of these 10 blocks. Okay, so it's very important where our numbers fall in their place values. And we're gonna give names to all of our place values later, um, but I just wanted to show you these side by side, okay? So when you put these side by side, they become numbers, right? So I'll take a look at all of them together. There's a picture there. I can't really hold them all in my hands at one time, but if you put them together, they become numbers, right? Let's say we just had one of each of these, right? We would have 1,110 plus 1 is 11. 1,111 if we put these together, okay? Ooh, cool. All right, and you're going to have to play with these for a little while, and maybe when you're doing place value problems in the future, uh, using these manipulatives are going to help you to get a good picture of what you're doing. I think that using these for big number addition and big number subtraction when you're carrying and borrowing um, is really helpful. So maybe, maybe you would want to give that a try, okay? But for now, let's talk about what we learned we learned that visualizing numbers and their place values is really important. And that once you get 10 in any one place value, right, they transform, okay? If you had 10 of these, they transform into one of these, right? If you had 10 of these, they transform into one of these. If you had 10 of these, they transform into one of these. If you had 10 of these, we could probably, they would transform into something like this big, okay? We don't have like a, a 10,000 block, but if we did, it would be big, okay? So once you get to 10 in any place value, it carries over to the next largest place value, all right? All right, so how are we gonna do this? We gotta try it. Um, I want you to use base 10 blocks. If you don't have base 10 blocks at your house, right? Maybe you're just like a YouTube student uh, and you go, I don't have base 10 blocks. Uh, draw, draw some pictures. I want you to use base 10 blocks to show the following numbers. Uh, first, I want you to show me 38. Okay, so we're gonna have 30 in the tens place and eight in the ones place. How would you show me that with these blocks? All right, and then we're gonna get progressively harder. Next, I want you to show me 637 in base 10 blocks. And then I want you to show me 2,553 in base 10 blocks. That's a lot of base 10 blocks, okay? But you can do it, all right? And then finally, if you can, take a picture of all of these. And if you're one of my students, upload them to my Edmodo page. If you're not one of my students, show somebody. Show your mom, show your grandma, show your brother, show your teacher. Um, show somebody and have them check to see that you did this right, okay? I know this is kind of basic. I know we haven't really talked too much about the names of these place values and what happens when it gets bigger. It's next steps. Right now, I just want a visual in your head that different place values can symbolize different sizes. Okay, I hope this helped. Um, I will see you next time. Thank you. Oh wait, uh, does everybody want to prove this is a live performance? Give me a round of applause, everybody. My fourth grade class, woo!